everybody, and welcome to a Operator Mastery. And we have our vote in, and it is going to be Maestro. It is like 33% to like 31, so it was very close. So just for it being that close, I'm going to do a double header. I'm going to go back to back. I'm going to do Maestro today, Maverick tomorrow, since a lot of you guys want Maverick as well. So I didn't forget about you guys. I will have you guys out tomorrow. So for now, we got Maestro. It's pretty fitting as all this past week, I've been doing all anchor videos, and he is literally the definition of an anchor on defense. He was in my top five anchor video. He was one of the stars of my anchoring video. So he was in two of our five videos this week. So let's make it three. So as always, if you guys are new to this, we go over these same things every single time. We start off with the operator video. These DLC ones are a little weird because they don't really have videos per se, but they have their introduction video and no one really ever watches them uh, except if you somehow watch them. But for the most part, I've never watched any of these until I make these. So that's the same today with my so we start off with that we get into utility we get into the best loadout best class setup best guns to use uh this guy's easy because he only really has one good gun and we also learn how to use his utility the best you can utility is meant to be used in a way and i just try to showcase that through the video and in the background you will see between terrorist hunt and just casual matches you'll see both of those and just example plays and such like that so if that's something that interests you stick around we're gonna get into maestro So Maestro is an absolute legend of a anchor on defense. He has the LMG with 80 bullets. He used to have an ACOG, but now it's just a holograph, but it's still very good. Low recoil and a surprisingly high fire rate. So it's like shooting an AR with 80 bullets and no recoil. It's pretty insane, honestly. And I just started using Maestro a lot after I got a lot of hate for putting him in B as my uh, tier list. I would definitely put him in A or OP now. Uh, now that I've used him more because that um, LMG is just insane and the utility is also really good. So Maestro is really good for two things. One, intel gathering. Those evil eyes provide all the information you need. It's like a bulletproof camera, but it can't be knifed. You have to use a Ash or a Zofia charge on them. And it could also do a solid job at plant denial. Not as good as echo drones as you will have to shoot them off and kill them, but it still will prevent it nonetheless. The only cons I could think of right off the bat is it's not as disruptive as the yokai drones as the echo drones actually shake your screen and really kick you off the plant. This one you actually have to shoot them and hope that the maestro cam doesn't get shot in the process of doing so. And also, I mean, he's just a one speed three armor, so he's not quick. He's definitely just an anchor. So before we get into real play styles and the deep depths of the gadget, we're going to go over the primary weapons that we could pick. We have the Alda 556, which is the LMG that you should be using regardless of what you're doing. But there's also a shotgun with the ACS or ACS 12. I personally never use it on Maestro as there's no reason to be using a shotgun when you have an LMG this powerful. So I would go with the uh, Alda 556 and I would put a holographic sight on that compressor and a vertical grip as well. And you will have basically no recoil and as a backup you have the battle 410 and the karatos 357 i don't know which ones but the the 410 they call it a boar shotgun because it absolutely shreds through and makes impact holes if you want that so i would do that because you wouldn't have to bring like an impact or anything you can actually make a rotation hole it takes a little longer than an actual shotgun as it doesn't make a huge hole but i really recommend that you can create rate rotation holes with that pistol it's really short range though so don't be trying to use it as a normal pistol it's more of a hand cannon so that class is easier than most operators as it's just really one gun and it's only really one option with the alda and just remember always use that alda 80 bullets you can just spray at the end of rounds get double kills i get so many double kills with maestro it's insane later round plus having no recoil just aim at heads and hold down that left click and as the gadget, just use barbed wire if you're going to bring the Balif because you won't need impact grenades as the pistol will do it for you. And that's a big advantage as well. Even though the Karatos is a really good pistol, I just would not pass up having barbed wire. So let's go over now the Evil Eye, which is really a powerful, powerful thing for anchoring. And it can do a lot of stuff, including intel gathering and has the little turret on it that can do plant denial. 
Only way to destroy it is by some sort of like Ash charge, Sophia charge, or a nade even. But the main thing that is important is it is resistant to gunshots and uh, knifing. So it's not like a bulletproof camera in that sense, but it can see through smoke like Valkyrie Black Eyes can. Now that might not be that important, but it's still good to know that it can see through smoke. I know little things like that are really important for operators this detailed. As for the turret, it takes around one second to activate it and open up the lens entirely. And whenever that lens is open, it is completely exposed. You can shoot it and it'll get destroyed. So watch out for that. The evil eye will shoot uh, four bullets per second with a maximum of 20 bullets fired before the overheating effects uh, starts and it'll close back up. It takes a full five seconds for the turret to cool down and such. So it'll be five seconds before you can shoot any more bullets to go back for 20, but most of the time you won't be shooting 20. 20 bolts. So Echo and Maestro are pretty similar in a little bit of ways. They have a similar role on the team, but their utility is a little bit different as the Yokai drones are invisible, while the Maestro cams are obviously more like invincible. And some of the main little differences are that the Maestro cam can't be actually turned by other operators, just like the Yokai drone can actually be turned in changing camera directions, but the Maestro cam will not do that, which is something to keep in mind. But obviously, that doesn't really matter that much. It's just a camera. It's like a bulletproof camera in a sense. Another thing is it will not actually cancel the performed action that's currently happening, like planting the diffuser. So it's not like the Yokai drone will kick you off. Instead, you'll have to shoot them with the amount of bullets that you need to kill them. So the issue with that is if there's two up, one will just shoot the Maestro cam and you'll end up having to fight them. While the Echo drone, you can just sit in a literal corner and just keep preventing them, assuming the Yokai drone doesn't get spotted, which it usually doesn't. So that's the main difference there between Maestro and the Yokai drones. So now we're going to move on to how we should be using the evil eyes and it starts with where you should be placing it make it in a good place that will actually help you with plant denial so put it somewhere in the objective site that is looking at a planting position or what's usually called a common planting position but it doesn't literally have to be in the objective site if it's it depends on the site really but both of your cams you get two of them so one could be on objective one could be outside of objective it's really up to you but i would recommend at least one by more of the common planting bomb site for sure. But even if you pick the perfect spot and have it in the perfect placement, remember timing is everything when you're using it as plant denial. Don't just instantly try to get greedy with firing bullets as it'll just get shot. A lot of players know how to bait maestros into firing and that's just the that's just not a good idea. So whenever it's not needed, don't fire it. It doesn't do your team any good. It's better as a intel device than trying to get kills with it as it takes a lot of zaps and they should just shoot it by the time that it actually hurts them. Because because once you do shoot the bulletproof glass that's in front of it, it opens up for the turret to shoot. So once it's open, it's completely exposed. It can be shot and it takes one second to shut and open the bulletproof glass. So whenever you're doing that, you could always turn the turret away whenever you are trying to close it and it should protect you from the most part. So just turn the camera away once it's getting shot at if it is open and it could possibly protect you and it won't hurt your cam and destroy it. There's not much to say about the actual play style whenever you're using uh, Maestro. It is just a straight up anchor. If you don't know what an anchor is, just go watch that video. That is literally what this is is just a anchor so there's no real detailed way to play them it's just until you have to use your utility you're just an anchor from there on you're trying to find angles you're trying to get in good spots and you're trying to pick up those easy kills of people just trying to rush in trying to get easy plants off but the thing i like about maestro over echo is that first of all it is bulletproof the yokai drone is obviously invisible so they both have their synergies there but maestro's guns are way better than echoes and once you're dead as a maestro it's not as important as maybe an echo because once the echo is dead their job is basically over it still serves as a camera but so does maestros i have a few more closing points but uh, overall i mean maestro is a pretty simple operator to get to used to so as a dlc operator if you're trying to be an anchor and you're kind of newer at this game try to pick up maestro try to learn that he could be a good main from all the way from like bronze to diamond honestly he's good in every single rank which is hard to find sometimes there's always those core operators and i believe he is one of them and he has a pretty uh, low ban rate in ranked. 
So last thing I always like to throw in these like just fun fact things that people just don't know most of the time. And I mean, people know it, but newer players will not know this. So first of all, I would like to say just the counters of it. Thatcher will temporarily disable the evil eyes and will open up the glass. So if they have a Thatcher, throw it at that. It'll open it up and you can shoot the maestro cam, which is will kill it. Twitch is the same, but can zap it and that'll disable and open it and then can zap it again and it'll destroy it. So it's basically the same thing as Thatcher but it can kill it itself. Obviously, a sledgehammer will also destroy it. And not a melee, though. It actually has to be the sledgehammer. The torch on Maverick will destroy it. But overall, guys, my show is pretty simple to use, and that's really all I got for you. Just what you need to know is where to place your drones. Other than that, you're just a anchor and just have a extra task, really, with the evil eyes, and it just gives you more utility. So I would pick him usually over a guy like Doc or anyone like that if you don't have a support player for plant denial and intel gathering so hopefully this helped you guys if it did leave a like leave a comment on what operators you want to see next i will run another poll after i do this wave of operators so go ahead and leave those down below and i'll get to them eventually i promise i will and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one and also don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications on the next videos